difficult question. <laughs> you have another question? <laughs> so your parents wanted you to work in a farm? In a farm. I am nervous, yes. I am worried, yes. I don't love dentistry. Hello, Dina. I'm really glad to welcome you again. Today was the third seminar, the third day of the seminar, of our four-day seminar. And to be honest, it was not so easy to organize this event because of the epidemic situation nowadays and closed borders in many countries. But despite all these external difficulties, we managed to overcome this situation and today we are all here. So I'm really happy. And truly speaking, we have been waiting for this event for almost two years. And this event uh, had met all our expectations. So I guess that all the participants and the guests of the seminar, they are completely satisfied. They gain useful knowledge and they will be able to use this knowledge into practice. So that's incredibly important. So um, I suppose you really get a huge pleasure from doing your work, right? And communicating with diverse people. So, Dina, tell me, please, describe me your emotions right now. How are you feeling after such an extensive event? Thank you very much, Veronica, for the question. Well, first of all, I have to see that I, I understand you. I understand your question. And really, for me, I think my life six months ago, now I can understand the question of Veronica. Yes, for the people that speak English, it's no problem and listening. But for me, I don't speak English, English six months ago. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's a problem listening and speak. Then I'm, I'm very happy because I understand your question. And now I try to do the, I tried to construct the answer. You are right. Uh, the pandemic situation changed uh, a lot of time, the date of this event. But I think it changed the date of a lot of events. Not only this event, but a lot of the event in the interest in the world have to change the date. Then I think it's a very, very difficult situation, but it's a global situation, I think, in the dentistry learning world. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to change the date a lot of time. This is a problem, I understand, for, the, for all the organization. But uh, for the, my personal point of view, it's not so bad. Because six months ago, don't speak English. And uh, at the beginning, the idea was to do the course in the Spanish language. And for my personal point of view, it's very important with all the difficulty, the, all the problem, but it's very important to do this course in English. Then I am a little bit uh, worried. I am a little bit nervous because for me it's not a, it's a new language. But uh, at the same time, I'm very happy because this is the second day. No, it's the third day. It's the third. Then stay at almost the end of the course and everything goes very well. And for me, the most important thing is if the student go, go back to home and have learned the technique then for me it's very important and now know that it's work that at the end of the course i think some students are very happy about the result of course then the course was in english the student happy and me and i'm very happy because more happy students... than the students because for me what's my first experience to teach the mucogingival surgery in English mm -hmm. language. Then I am nervous, yes. I am worried, yes. But at the same time, I am very happy. Then 
you did a really great job you see I'm, you did I'm a really sure. huge step yes it was your first time when you did this course in english language exactly. not in spanish yes i understand you very nice so you are a coach and a leader for your colleagues at the moment and i understand that it was necessary to work hard in order to achieve such a really nice results yes so why did you decide to become a speaker and educate doctors uh, well this is a very interesting question i think the the first the first step in order to answer your question depend of of your your learning education your learn your education because during the the master i i do i did the masters in madrid the university complutense of madrid uh, antonio vascones and mariano san were, uh, were in this time the chairman of the master and uh, i have the opportunity to practice this master and when when you stay in a periodontal master like the Madrid Complutense Master University, you have to learn periodontics, you have to study a lot of articles, you have to treat a lot of patients, but part of the master you have to teach. You have to teach your knowledge for your colleagues. Then if you if you do a very good presentation of you, if you work a lot in your teaching activity during the master, you can learn more because your college can learn more and your college push your college to do a very good presentation. Then at the end of the master, you have the true possibility because you, are, you, you learn treat patient, but you learn teach other people. Then we finish the master, you have the true possibility. You can decide to treat all the patient alone inside the clinic, but you can decide to do a university career, then totally different uh, field. But specific in my case, I love the two fields. Then I work a little bit in university, I work that has a uh, course that is this, but at the same time, I love treat patients. That I love the two opportunity. I fall in love with periodontics, and I want that other professional fall in love with periodontics. For this reason, for me, it's very important teaching mucogingival surgery. So you see at the moment you have your lecturing field and your medical field and I guess that they are inseparable from each other at the moment. So if you had an opportunity to choose only one kind of the activity, which activity would you like to choose? To educate people or to treat people? Yes, this is a, it's a very difficult question. Very beautiful, difficult question. <laughs> you have another question? <laughs> Okay, I try to answer. Uh, in order to treat the patient in a, in a private clinic, we are growing older. And I think when you are very older, you are older, your hand skills is not the same. Then I think when, I'm, when, when I was, when I will be older, I can to do a course, but I'm not very sure if my hand skill are the same when I'm older. Then this one reason. Second reason. For a private clinics, you have a lot of uh, costs. You have to maintain a local. You have to maintain the assistant, the personal. Then every day you have to pay a lot of money. Then for a dentist or in a clinic. You have to work in a clinic every day during all time in order to pay this cost. The teaching experience is a little bit different because you have not all day a constant cost. Then 
you can do the course with one year older and you have no affix curse. Then at the end of the, the question, I love now, in this moment, I love the two fields because I love treat my patient mm -hmm. and love uh, fall in love in periodontal, periodontal issue other other professional. But about the future, I think if I have to choose, yes. I like teaching teaching part. Okay. So you would like to choose teaching part in the future when my older I think. Probably okay. Great answer. And as far as I know, you were born in Italy, right? And your professional growth took place especially there. So, but now you live in the sunny city of Carunia in Spain. So, why did you decide to move to Spain? And do you consider Spain as a country with a good work life balance? Oh, very good question. I have to separate the question in, in two in different parts, okay? okay? Because it's a very big, interesting question for my life. Why you live in Spain now? Well, the history, because uh, I think it's important for me now to explain for young young dentists about uh, my uh, my education experience. Then I have to join my education experience. Have to join with with my Spain place, okay? Then when I was a very 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 little boy, when I stay at primary school, I'm, I'm a very, very bad student, very bad student. Mm -hmm. So bad that my family, my parents, think about Dino don't go, don't, Dino don't in university. Will do, will, will, will do, don't, will, no, will, we will we, not do the university. Exactly. Thank you very much. Because I'm a very, very bad student. Then the primary school, I do a specified school not to prepare for university. Primary, no, secondary school, excuse me, secondary school to prepare you to work in a farm. Because Dino will, will don't, will, won't do university. So your parents wanted you to work in a farm? In a farm, at the beginning. But then changed something in my mind. And incredible, with, the, I think, uh, 14, 16 years old, I decided to study a lot. And the, at the end of the secondary school, and stay in a secondary school is to prepare me to a farm, not to university, for a farm. But my mother and my old brother, because with my, my bro old brother I have 16 year difference, my mother, my old brother told me, Dino, you can do dentistry career. Oh, really? I am do dentistry career? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can do dentistry career. Then at the beginning, my, my shows to do dentistry was pushed for my mother Mm -hmm. and my old brother. And uh, I have studied a lot in order to enter in the University of Milan because uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know very well in Russia what is the uh, enter in the university, but in Italy in this time, in 19, uh, 1995, mm -hmm. in order to enter the dentistry career was very, very difficult. You have to do a very difficult exam to enter the university, but I have passed this exam. Incredible. Then I push, push, my, push my idea for my brother and my mother. But during the years of study, I don't love dentistry. Really? During the career, I don't love dentistry. I love study, but I don't love dentistry. And now, this is a problem. I don't love dentistry. Then I remember to do my first experience in a humanitarian work. I remember Nicaragua with a company from Spain during my, my career, go to work. I remember one month in Nicaragua. Nicaragua know a very a, a different student of Madrid and know in Nicaragua the possibility to do 
a periodontal a periodontics master in Madrid. Then quickly, I changed my mind. I don't love dentistry, but I think I can love periodontics. Then at the end of my career, my, I'm degree in dentistry in, in the University of Milan in 1999. Mm -hmm. And at the end of my career, I decided went to Spain in order to do a master in periodontics. It's incredible because during these years, Madrid is no famous in the world for periodontics. In 1999, mm -hmm. in this moment, I think Madrid is one of the most important places for learning periodontics. But in 1991, no. But an, a friend and colleague me, the name is very important people, is Maurizio Tonetti, advised me, you, you have to do the master in Madrid. Then I decided to do the master in Madrid. I spent uh, three years, very important, three years in order to enter the master. Three years, I had to study a lot during three years in order to enter in the master. The master, the duration of the master is three years. Then, I'm degree in dentistry in 1999, and I received the degree of master in periodontics in 2004. Mm -hmm. A lot of years, mm -hmm. a lot of effort in order to achieve this learning. Yes, I see so. Then uh, it's an important message for the young people because uh, you have to work a lot if you want to do something. You have to work a lot. For this region, for this region, stay in Spain. But your question is why Spain but in Coruña? Yes, why Coruña? Exactly. Why not exactly. Because my life in Spain start my life in Spain start in Madrid. I work in Madrid a lot of year. Currently, I am a professor invited in the master. But then I know me. I know a girl and fall in love with the girl, and the girl is in Galicia. And for the region, I have to move in Galicia. And I open mm, the clinic in Coruña, in Galicia. But I got divorced okay. recently, six months ago. It happened six months ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then now uh, staying in Coruña, but I don't know very well where I'm going to stay in the future. But the, the meaning of staying in Coruña is for love, ro love uh, reason. Okay. Yes, for the nearest future, you're going to stay there because you have clinic in Coruña, right? At the moment. At the moment, I have a clinic in Coruña, yeah. Yes, that's really interesting because in the very beginning, you said that uh, it was your mother's and your brother's idea to push you to start this yes. uh, dentistry. But maybe is it a kind of a family dynasty? So. Well, the, the family dynasty, I think, is important in the, in the dentist world because a lot of students uh, are, ch are child, are son of dentists. Then it's uh, the family, dentist family, push you in this decision. Then it's, I think it's frequently. It's frequently that you have family dentistry and and uh, and the end do, do the dentistry because your family is dentist it is it's you frequently have to. Mm -hmm. it's frequently situation that is my situation because my idea is pushed by my mother my brother is dentist and your mother old brother my mother no but uh, but uh, my my brother yes then my brother have a clinic in milan yeah so you are two kids in the family and you are both the dentist right yes my am and my and my old brother that's really interesting, you see. Yes, a kind of a family dynasty, probably. Yes. And concerning your work, have you ever had any funny clinical, like, incidents during your practice? Maybe something with your patients, I don't know. Do you remember? Why? Well, I think in, in, in generally, the, the, the work of dentistry is a very stressful work. And you have to manage a very stressful and difficult situation. It's, uh, we have uh, 
a patient very difficult to treat, very difficult, very demanding, not only for <laughs> the anatomical point of view or the surgical point of view, but for the psychological point of view. Then I think the dentist have to play a very demanding game all day in the clinic. <laughs> then I live uh, a lot of different situation. I, I don't, I don't uh, speak about now, but we have all different situations, very stressful, very happy. When, when you have a patient with we very happy, very hungry, then you have the dentist have to manage the situation every day, have to adapt to the situation every day. In the teaching situation, is is more uh, flat in this meaning. If you teach well, you have no problem. But in the clinic day, you can do the surgery very well, but you have you a problem. Mm -hmm, yes. It's, I think the work of dentists is very, very stressful work. You have to keep in calm and relax. Yes, you and need you to And you have adapt. to play this game. You need to adapt to your patients, right? Yes, yes. Yes, uh, I see. And regarding, like, concerning your patients, does the patients ever ask you any silly questions? Question about? I don't know, just uh, any silly questions from the patients. Yes, I, all day I have different questions from the patient. Silly uh, questions. Still, about? Sil silly, like a silly, I mean like something stupid. No, I think, uh, no, I think generally my patient don't put me as silly, silly question. They don't Are ask we, you. you have a typical precise, precise uh, patient. It's a, a typical professional patient that he know your, you know your work uh, best if you then is a typical professional patient. Then you have to manage the situation. No? It's true. Then you have a very, 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 very professional patient, I have two chances. One, double the build. <laughs> Another one, really? if you have your best friends, your best colleague, you love your colleague, you refer the patient in your best colleagues. <laughs> I see, okay. Uh, so let's uh, move in further. Let's talk uh, right now about your hobbies. And you lead a healthy lifestyle, as far as I know. And I know that your social networks, your Instagram, uh, are full of photos where you like running, surfing, riding horses, and do some activity. And are you doing this to stay in a good physical sh shape, or this is your way of revealing the psychological like this um, i don't know pressure after work thank you very much for the question because veronica this is a it's a, my question of every day in my life no uh, i have 47 years old then uh, i have not the same energy when i have 37 or 27 and when when you when we are growing older you you are more uh, you are more dedicated of for your free time because the, the life you you have not a lot of time when you are younger you have a lot of time when you start near to the 15 50 years old you are not a lot of time. Then your question is, is important because I need time for me. I love my work. I love work. But I love to enjoy with my free time too. Then I want only, only, only work because uh, the dentist wor work and then you do course. You can you catch you all your free time. 
then it's very important you have a little time for you. Yes, I see. And this is for for the brain, for the psychological point of view, and for your body, because you need to do sport in order to have a healthy body. Then healthy brain, healthy body, enjoy life. You need some to do something that you have happy. In my case, I have no problem because I love different enjoying time. For example, I love a lot kite surfing. Uh, in my, if you see my Instagram, mm -hmm. we have a lot of picture with kite surfing. When I stay in the beach, put a photo with my sky surfing. I put a photo and grew, I put my photo post in my Instagram. When 15 later, I put another photograph with sky surfing. And then the dentist, my dentist colleague told me, oh, you all time stay in the beach to do kind surfing. You don't worry. Yes, I work too. But when they stay in the beach, I want to take the photo because it's my moment. It's my. You want to capture this moment, yes. yeah. Then I have three hours catch surfing in the weekend, Saturday and Monday, no problem. Then I work all days. But when I post my all time, my photo, it, it seems that I am all time in the board. No? Seems like that, that it's you're not, not working yet. Yeah, you're situation. just relaxing. It's very important to, to achieve. I think uh, the middle, the, the combi com you have to combine the enjoy time, the sport, and the work. Yes, you see, it's everything about work-life balance. So then, yes. uh, my my advice for for dentists or young dentists is, you have to work a lot, but it's very important that you have a time for sport, for enjoyable time for yourself. For yourself, it's very important. Yes, you travel a lot thanks to your work, yes, and you get acquainted with many people, with many countries, and with many nationalities. And, you know, I even saw a photo on your Instagram where you were dressed like in uh, in a skirt, in a national Scottish costume, remember? I remember, yes. I remember. Which country did you consider as the most memorable during your trips? Uh, uh, this is a very interesting question, and uh, uh, I have to speak in this question about my my favorite place in the world. And uh, I'm staying in Scotland with a Scottish uh, dress. I'm staying in Argentine. I'm staying in Portugal. I'm staying in Ukraine and then stay in Russia. Uh, but for me, the most incredible country, it's Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. It's an, in, the, in the north, in the south of Africa, just uh, uh, on top of the South Africa. And uh, Zimbabwe, for me, it's the most incredible country because uh, in Zimbabwe I can live different types of emotion. For example, the nature. The nature in Zimbabwe is incredible. Nature? The nature is incredible because they alone around the world a lot of kilometers there is anything. All the world and the sky, it's in the planetarium, no? You can see the sky. Full of stars. Very, guess. very, very near. Really? Then it's incredible the sky. It's incredible the, the view. And it's incredible when you see an uh, animal, for example, an elephant. Just a wild animal. And you can go very near from the elephant, very near from the lion. And in this moment, you live the homo sapiens at the beginning because you stay alone around the world and in front of the elephant. And you, in this moment, you have very emotional because you live the same, I think, the same emotion that lived the homo sapiens at the beginning. 
then for me it's incredible emotion for the nature and the animal. But there is another incredible emotion, the contact with a team, a dentist team, all the lodge team, we were together, together during 10 days of time in order to treat a patient mm -hmm. in this place. Then it's very Texans experience to work with the team all time, all day, and live this experience, work with patient in this place. And then the last but not the least, the experience with the patient in Zimbabwe. This for me is the time when I work free, I work free, I present my work. What? So it's kind of a charity? Is charity, it? no, it's charity. This is for me, it's important because this is time to work free for the people, for the poor people. And uh, I was in Zimbabwe eight time. And uh, if everything go, 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 go well, because now I have tomorrow I have PCR, I go back to Spain and one week stay in Zimbabwe. Then it's my ninth time that I'm going to Zimbabwe. Then the experience is the team and the personal team. And I remember when you work all day, like this day, so it's how similar. many hours are you working around eight? Exactly. You you have to you have to live the same day, no? Mm -hmm. This day, the work start at nine of the morning. Mm -hmm. Now it's a ten, just ten at night. You ha you are working a lot with a lot of dentistry, two two course, no? Then you when you finish the work in Zimbabwe, it's so similar that you finish the work here. At the end of the world, all dentistry with me, with a photograph. Congratulations, me. Then I receive more than I uh, give. So you receive a nice feedback. I receive from more than I give. Because it's a strong word, it's very strong, but at the end, the people are very happy and you receive more than I give. And the Africa, when at the end of the day, the people told me, I want to thank you, I want to thank you for the rest of my life. This is a song in Africa. Then in this moment, I'm a very happy man because I receive more than I give. Yes, because they give you positive emotions. Exactly. Them. Yes. Exactly. So, but do you treat the teeth like uh, to both to adults and to kids, right? Yes, uh, in this uh, we treat, it's incredible, but it's real. We treat 500 patients per day. 20 dentists treat 500 patients per day. Like a chain work, we have a, a, a group my brother stays in this trip. My old brother stays in this so trip So you are too. together. Mm -hmm. Then we have two dentists for the diagnosis team. Diagnosis team, only diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Then a few dentists for anesthesia and a few, a, a lot of dentists to extract the molar and a lot of dentists to do, um, to do restorative dentist. Then we have a chain work. So everyone is divided. Diagnostic, yeah. anesthesia and stack and restorative dentist. Mm -hmm. And then our group tra uh, treat the child and the child is for hygienic destruction or give the give a third brush, give a thaw brush. Then it's uh, the end is it's perfect work. Yeah. You can treat 500 patients per day. The name of the organization is Smile is a Foundation. Smile is foundation. Smile is a foundation. If you want to see picture, if you want to know better our work, you can you can see the in the Instagram, Facebook, and the website. web. 
The name is Smile is a Foundation. Okay, but nobody pays you for this work, right? It's uh, it's like for free. You're doing it because you want to do it. It's for it's free. Uh, we have different group of dentistry. Uh, I'm the beginning. I'm the founder of the. I'm a founder of the organization. Uh, with the other dentist, we start the beginning, and for the first dentist, you have to pay the trip. You have to pay something for the lodge, mm -hmm. and then the dentist stay two time. You have to pay a little more, and for dentist, this is the first time you have to pay a little more. But the company. Uh, need money in order to have the trip, no, for, no for pay the dentist, but you have to pay, for example, the material. You have to pay the lodge. Then I I can do another more information. The Invelo Safari Lodge is the company inside Zimbabwe. Then organize all the work, put all the, the lodge for to sleep and put all team of lodge in order to do this work. Then in, in Velo Safari, it's the company that organized this trip. And for how long do you usually stay there? Around two weeks, around one month? The, the, the trip is three days, three days because one, one day enough to, to arrive and one day enough to go back. Then 12 days, it's a war time. That all is 15, 15 days, but in Zimbabwe, 12 days. 12 days for treating people. Yes. Okay, but, okay. With Zimbabwe, everything is clear. So what about Russia? It's your first time when you're here, right? Yes, and it's my first time. So Fr share first with time. Share with me with your impressions. So how do you like Russia? How do you like people? Maybe something seems to you unusual here. For me, the experience is totally, totally enjoyable experience, very positive experience. It's hard work. Now I'm, all, I'm tired, yes, but I'm very happy. Then my experience is a very, very positive very good experience. The people are incredible people, all the team and all the dentists. And, uh, and uh, I receive more that I give. That is my first trip and very happy with that. With Russia, yeah. Tomorrow, yes, on Monday, you I don't know R Russia in, in the in the in external the map, environment yes. because uh, only I have a very beautiful building when we have the travel from from the airport to the hotel that's true then stay all time in the hotel then I don't sh know Russia in that there is why tomorrow we have but, a special day to show you yes. everything I think if I have another possibility to do this course I take some day to know Russia and know no, I think Definitely. someday more, but this was a difficult date and we have only four days in order to do the course. But in other time, I can, I want to do no Russia. Uh, more, yeah. Well, no. Yeah, tomorrow we will do everything in order okay. you to try like uh, national cuisine and okay. yes, national places of interest. Thank you. Dentistry is a quite profitable field. And like, it's not a secret. You are the owner of your own clinic. You are an international lecturer. You educate students and you provide them with your clinical practices, right? And I think that a lot of people, they are really interested and they would like to know about uh, the average salary of a dentist. This is a very complicated question. Because uh, I want to speak about my salary, but you have to take into account that the salary of the dentistry, we have a lot of variation, depend of the your treatment. If you have a day when you all day put implant, you can gain a lot of money. But you have a day with a stop with dentistry, 
you don't get the same money. And I am periodontist. Sometimes put some implant, but every day I have to do periodontal treatment. Then in the dentist world, we have different uh, different salary depend of what your treatment. Of course, it's then depends. it's it's very difficult to to say one day you can a lot of money and other day you can earn a lot of money. Then it's it's very difficult to to know what's it's uh, what's your your salary. Then my month vary every time. In this month, I have four course in mm -hmm. one month. In this next month, I have any course. Then it's a lot of variation. Then it's difficult to answer your question. But we have me another question about the life in Spain, about the work in Spain. Then I think if I work in I suppose in England or in Holland or in the United States, I suppose, I think the dentists gain more money than in Spain. This, I think Spain is a perfect uh, country because you have a perfect level with enjoyable life mm -hmm. and world life. Mm -hmm. no? exactly. you, you have a very, very good weather. Absolutely. Very good weather very good place, very enjoyable life, then you can enjoy with the life and work too. But I think there are other countries where you can work more and you can gain more money, but you have not the weather that in Spain. That that's, yeah, and you that's have the question about the, the work life in Spain. I think it's perfect balance, Spain, with work, enjoyable time, enjoyable weather. I see, because the weather like depends on our mood. Exactly. Yeah, what exactly is the secret of your success? So what do you think? Ah, uh, the success, the success, success is very difficult. Very Worth difficult word, <laughs> the success, 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 success. I remember just, uh, just uh, three days, three weeks ago, uh, one friend in an English course put the name sex, 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 sex. <laughs> in order to have the Spanish to the success, success, success. How it will be in Spanish, the word success? Success, successo. Success. Successo, successo, or successo in Italiano. The success, I need to, to read my, my, uh, I, excuse me, but I had to read the success. Okay, I think three. Three important things, only three. First of all, you need work a lot. I have no doubt about that. You have to work a lot in order to achieve the success. This is the base. Then you have to fall in love with your work in order to work a lot. The first important things. Then the second, I think in my, this is my life, my spirit, my life, the creati cre ad creativity. creativity, 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 okay, creativity, creativity because if you, if you want to, to invent another surgical technique, you have to bring creativity. So you have to work, but you have to have creativity for invent something new or in the, in, the, in the university investigation world, you have to use creativity in order to, 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 new something, to new something new, to, to look something new. And Periopixel, we have to speak a little bit about Periopixel because Periopixel is a animation company with a animation video and I create Periopixel with creativity. By we yourself. Have, we have to work a lot, but for Periopixel is creativity the most important point of view, is the creativity. 
then generally you have to work a lot creativity and then third very important third the luck you need some luck in life you need some luck because i i needed some luck in order to enter in the master i needed some luck in order to stay here for marina then in the life it's important work but it's important some luck because i think i'm i good i think i'm good teacher but if i not have luck i don't stay here now i am good teacher but i need luck and marina for example with the joint you need luck in order to have a success three times three work creativity and luck. and luck so you see your luck <laughs> now you have the opportunity to look into the camera and give five advice for young dentists which will help them to become more successful in their career and more satisfied with their job and just give some advice how to not lose this patience like okay i'm apologize with you because i i have to read this question because for me it's it's very important to to transmit the message and uh, it's important message i have to read i think about this but i want to read three five points first of all you have to decide if you have to become a general dentist or do you want to specialize in a specific subject very important specific subject or general dentist first mm -hmm. second when you have decided it's it's very important fall in love with it if you don't like your work you are lost very important fall in love with your decision so you should have patience right for this work you should yes. have a desire in order to do it yes third independent of your choice you need a lot of training time i think more 3 4 years minimum if you specialize you for me for example periodontal specialize i need 3 4 years but and you need all career life you you, for your general dentist, if you decide general dentist, you need all life to training your work. Four, the work for dentists is hard. The relationship with the patients is very complicated, but take into account keeping calm. This is part of the game. This is a part of the game. The last, but not the least you don't to do for the patient what you don't want for your month thank you dear yes that will be very useful for our young dentist thank you for this amazing interview you revealed yourself not only from the professional side but also as an amazing and interesting person and today you became a member of our Otex company, of our Otex team. So we were really glad to see you. That was amazing for us to cooperate with you. And thank you very much. Thank you very much, Veronica, for your help. Uh, you are working a lot for this. And I remember all this month with you with WhatsApp message. And you can adapt uh, uh, your situation with my complicated life then it's a, it's a very important result for, for you. For me, that's a pleasure you. to hear. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you. And thank you, thank you, thank you, you for the rest of my life. <laughs>